Good morning, my beautiful followers. How is everyone doing? How's everyone doing? I am sleepy because I am not allowing myself coffee today because I'm starting a cleanse, a juice cleanse, to just get my body on track after COVID and all of that. So just trying to to wake up without my coffee and I love my coffee but we're gonna I can go a few days without it I go I can go a few days without it I can drink some tea I can drink some tea and lots of water in my Harry Potter mug class I guess I guess I'm drinking on Harry Potter today anyway anyway that is super not the topic today last night I had the privilege of uh, working with Six or seven different women um, that came to my Aphrodite sisterhood circles. They're just small circles of um, connection and women really just having a place to come and share and support each other. And I started these circles because I had gone to a couple of different women's circles around my current area, even online, and I saw a lot of people trying to fix each other or or the energy was really in venting, venting over focusing in on the positive, focusing in on growth. It really, the focus point became, let me sit here and throw up all this negative energy into a room. And I just wasn't vibing with it. I just wasn't vibing with it. And so I just had to start my own. And so last night we did that and we really focused in on body image last night. We focused in on body image, which is one of my specialties since I spent years working as a therapist in the eating disorder field and spent years myself having an eating disorder, really bad raging eating disorder. And so I know a little bit about body image, the struggles we go through. And it was really quite beautiful to sit and watch everybody connect and discuss their their true issues because the the fact is <clears throat> our body image says so much about our sex and also about how we feel about ourselves internally because the fact is what we see in the mirror oftentimes is not what is going on what we see in the mirror is just a reflection of the shit going on in our own heads we oftentimes will project these negative things going on in our bodies, these emotions, all of this stuff onto our physical body. The thing is, though, you can do the exact opposite. You can turn your body image to the positive if you are just shifting internally in your mind. Hold on. I'm going to deal with a cat for a second. Somebody is trying to chew things that they're not supposed to chew Yes, but um, it was just very interesting kind of going through through that and it became apparent, not that I didn't know it, but it was quite beautiful, the bonding of female souls. We, we again, we try to fix each other. We try to, we try to go into the masculine with each other. Want a little kitty butt this morning? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, she is, she's only two months old, so she is just like all over the place, all over the place. Uh, but it was really quite beautiful to see the bonding of female souls because a lot of times we get together as women and we go into our masculine, we try to fix another woman, we don't go into flow or we go into venting. And so it is quite beautiful to see women really bonding. And we don't realize the power of these bonds, the power of our friendships, the power of our sisterhoods. Because, okay, you're, you're done. You're done. Uh, we don't realize the power of these bonds that we were meant to have back in Back centuries ago, you could have found women in lodges and connecting and bonding and going through their cycles together and really forming this unit, which really supported the internal women. This day and age, yes, we have all this beautiful communication. We can get on social media. We can 
do a text, but the fact is we don't really connect in the same way. We don't share our emotions. We don't share what's going on with us. We just will we'll be like, oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. But we don't really sit and bond. And they've done research, tons and tons of research. And I, I for a while, I got really like nerdy in like, in like female, female bonding kind of, kind of research. And one of the research studies that I found incredibly interesting was all about how women who had cancer, those that had supportive friends and female sisters and people in their lives were much, I think it was like 60% more likely to survive cancer than women who only had a supportive husband. And that's not saying that you guys aren't important to us because you are. You are. You're very important to us. The masculine is, is beautiful in its own right and important. But there is a support that comes from women. But the other day I was reading, um, I was scrolling through Facebook. I don't do a ton of Facebook scrolling, even though I'm always on Facebook. I don't, I don't tend to do a lot of just like random Facebook scrolling. But I think I was waiting for the chiropractor or something. And I was like, eh, I got nothing to do. I don't have time to write an article. So I'm just going to scroll. So I started scrolling. And I read something about, you know, your friends should just always support you and always have your back and always tell you you're right. And I was like, that is such bullshit. That's such bullshit. I feel really blessed that I have some amazing women in my life, have some truly amazing women in my life. And sometimes the women that are making the most impact at any certain point tend to be the women that are willing to be like, Addison, you're being a bitch right now. Addison, you continue to use this phrasing and they do it in a loving way. They really support, but they also don't mind calling me or myself calling them out. They're there, we're there to really check each other and grow together instead of just allowing each other to sit in this negative space with each other or continue to drag our own lives down. But instead we boost it up and we see women we we help other women rise. We help other women rise. I see so much um, cutting down of other women. But more than cutting down other women, I see so many women right now, and unfortunately I saw a couple last night, that are really hating on themselves. They're really hating on themselves or hating on who they are. And it is hard to tap into the feminine. It is hard to really connect with yourself if you hate your body, if you hate yourself, if you hate the feminine, if you hate how your body flows and, and is sensual. Like, it is hard to really love yourself at that point. It's hard to love the feminine. It's hard to drop into the feminine. We want to control. We want to constrict. We want to meet a goal instead of just experiencing our bodies. And I actually had a very interesting conversation last night but after the the circle but also during the circle I just heard all of this this discussion on oh well if it was my friend I would be okay with that if it was him or her if it was my daughter I would be totally okay if they looked like this if they spoke like this if they did this behavior it's fine that's beautiful that's them they're just showing them their own light but then this reverse effect of for ourselves of well if I look or behave or say that or look like that then the fact is I'm not going to be accepted there's something wrong with me and that's what I heard over and over again there's something wrong with me and almost like a specialness and I want to tell you guys that although we all are beautiful and special souls we are all very unique None of us are special. None of us are special in that way. The fact is, if you can look at a loved one and go, no, I love that. I love that. It's like, if they've got 10 extra pounds, it's okay. I still love them. Like, that doesn't matter to me. If you can look at, at somebody and go, yeah, like, they're just emotional. They, it's okay. That's like, they're just being them. They're just in their their space. Or oh, wow, sometimes like so-and-so says something kind of kooky and you're like, what are you talking about? But I love them. That's the best part of them. They're kind of kooky. 
if you can think those things about people in your life, then guess what? You should be thinking those same things about yourself. And I think it is beautiful as women, particularly. Men, I think the same thing goes for you. And you need to bond. And you need you need other masculines to build that divine masculine within yourself. But you're not the topic today. But I think the beauty is when women can get together and really show each other that we're not alone. We're all go we all have our shit. We all have our growth and that bonding and lifting each other up without without sitting in the shit pile of it and be like, My life sucks. Oh yeah, my life sucks. I love going to restaurants and just sitting sometimes, like just sitting and people watching and listening. Listening because as a Oh, an ex um, eating disorder therapist. I hear some conversations and I go, ay, 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 this hurts my head. But I hear women really bonding over hating on their bodies, hating on themselves. They'll be like, Ugh, like I shouldn't have the cake. Have you seen my thighs? Have you seen my belly? Have you seen? And and the other one's like, you're beautiful, but have you looked at my fat butt? Have you looked at? And we like to to bond over this negativity instead of the positivity. So I have a couple messages today. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but I have a couple messages for you guys today as women and as men. Men, go and find your, your tribe. Go find your tribe because you deserve a tribe too. You deserve a tribe too. You deserve that, that, that bonding. You deserve that masculine energy. But women, first, I want you to look at how you're talking about yourself. And guess what? If you're talking about yourself that way, then that judgment will seep out. And that's how you get perceived as being the judgy bitch. Because if you're looking at yourself and thinking those thoughts, that energy will will permeate out to the other women, people in your life. So look at how you're talking about yourself. If you wouldn't talk about a friend that way, then why the fuck are you being willing to talk about yourself that way? Number two, second point. I want you to look at have you really created a supportive tribe for yourself? And if you haven't, where can you find it? Right now with, with all the, we still have some COVID shit going on and and things. So if you're, you're one of those women who's not going out there, can you find an online community? If you're a woman that's willing to go out right now and connect with other people, go and find a women's group. There are so many beautiful women's groups around. You just have to find the one that is right for you. The one that really just aligns and thrives for you. So go out and find that tribe of women. <clears throat> and then look at how you're supporting women. Are you in your feminine? Are you actually supporting those women in your life? Or are you in this competitive masculine edge? Are you you trying to beat down the other women in your life? Or are you just loving them and accepting them? Are you allowing yourself to get into that feminine energy? Getting into that beautiful feminine energy. Because that is when we become as women magnetic. That is when we become powerful. So look at those things. Look at how you're talking about yourself. Look at where you can build some community with other women in your, your world. And not try to fix them. But they but just be there to hold space and be with them and support them and laugh and joke and play. Because guess what? The feminine is playful. The feminine is playful. So you're all beautiful. All of you. All y'all in my Texas accent, my mixed New York, Texas accent. All, all y'all. Uh, you're all beautiful. And you all, all are special. However... If you think that you are alone in having feelings, emotions, or having little struggles, guess what? You're not that special. Not that special. Everybody has things. Everybody has things. And if we are just vulnerable enough to open up a little bit, just a little bit, then we will find the connections and we'll find the path. We'll find our way through those, those difficulties. So, uh, On a completely separate note, completely separate um, I put out my Tantric ex uh, Bodywork Exploration Package um, two or three days ago. And so this is a program for those of you who are wanting to deep dive into Tantra, wanting to experience Tantric Bodywork, uh, and wanting to really get the essence and the healing that true Tantra can provide you. Uh, and so these are all, all um, 
bodywork session. So it's not coaching. It is strictly bodywork sessions. And you get to experience different sensations, different orgasmic energies, different healing points in each different session. And so if you're interested in that, go to addisonbell.net. You can find that link on my my header tab. Other than that, if you want to work with me one-on-one or attend one of my amazing events because I have a beautiful tantric integration puja coming up. I know Kendall Williams has sex magic. There is so much going on. Then go and check out my events tab because there is so much going on in the DFW area. We are rocking and rolling here. So do not miss out on your expansion right now. So I love you guys. Go recover your life. Reawaken your sex and see how things really alter and transform over the next few months if you're just willing to take those little steps. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.